Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I am opening an antique store. So I bought this building back in November and have been slowly building it out, mostly for myself, not really with the intention of opening it as a standalone store, but I have decided to have a pop-up sale, which was something that I thought I might do eventually and the time has finally come now that we are in early spring. So I bought it in November and have been making small changes to it. Some might say large changes. I have put down a whole new floor. We put in a new window. We changed the air conditioner, things like that. But in general, I tried to work with what they had and make it work for me. So I will now take you on a tour of this antique store that I will be opening for a pop-up sale. By the way, if you would like to come to the pop-up sale, it is May 15th and 16th, that's a Saturday and a Sunday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., only those two days. And the address, I will also put in the description along with all the pertinent information, is 202 Main Street, Summerfield, Illinois. So I hope to see you there, here, and now I will show you what I've got here with the extended caveat, the extended, that was fancy, with this one thing. Nothing that you see is for sale right now. So therefore, uh, don't send me any email saying you wanna buy something because the first dibs really go to the people that are traveling, some flying, um, traveling great distances to get here. So it's a preview for everyone, but after the 17th, you can say, hey, I saw this in your video because at that point the sale would have been over and I am more willing to sell things directly that way. So now let me show you what I have here at my antique store. I'm gonna go ahead and start on this side of the building. So there's this side and that side over there. So we're gonna start on this side. Now, this is the area that you first walk into. So we have the checkout counter right over there. And then I have this table here. Now everything isn't exactly as it's going to be because there are things that I still need to do, like set the table, uh, you know, for dinner. I'm gonna have dinner, no. I, like, we could put dishware sets there. And I'll show you that one over there. It looks so pretty. But over here, I guess, I don't know where to start. So let's start right over here, actually. Little couple of these concrete things. And those are some drawers that you can put on the wall for like miniatures. I have all of these things hung on the wall here. Plaques and different kinds of plaques, lithographs, a lot of Robert Atkinson Fox lithographs because I just really like those types of landscapes. Um, a couple more, these are like, these are like a lighthouse pair. They have, they have I don't know, they're like, I think they're ceramic. And then we've got some more up there. That's a really pretty one, that one. I have a pair of these peacocks. Oh yeah, I'm gonna run into stuff too. That'll be great. That'll be a fantastic way to do this. So I have a pair of those metal type. I'm gonna just sort of pan over most of things and then you can kind of see. But just a reminder, nothing is for sale right now to any of you guys watching. But after the, so May 17th, uh, you can email and be like, hey, is this thing still available? So I have these convex frames right here. Those are really fun. They're old. We like a good old situation. So we've got those and then the feather art. Those are fun. The feather art stuff is pretty popular. We like that. And there's another one down there and then a an owl. So that's some of the art. I've got a lot more. So this shelf over here is a fun blue color. I have some lamps up top, some nutcrackers, lots of this fun stuff from all around the world, like the Matryoshka doll sets. So I have that large one there. And this little baby, I found her, it goes inside. Little baby Matryoshka, that goes inside of that. And look at her, she has a silly little face. So that's that one. This is a musical, Beer Stein Man, Oktoberfest, I guess it is. So, We've got lots of those types of things. And then down here, more just stuff. And then down here, I actually have some records. Now I'll be putting up a sign. All the records are gonna be, uh, I think a dollar each. So whenever I bought this place originally, they were there. So, well, actually this shelf was across the room, but they were on the shelf. And um, so 
I don't have any money in them, except if you consider what I bought the place for. So I'm just going to sell them all for a dollar each. The jackets are a little bit worn, so I'm, I feel comfortable doing that. I have over here some lamps and different things. I love these tabletop, these tabletop frames. They're deco, 1930s era. So we have a, I guess they're married or maybe they're brother and sister or the same, they could be both. <laughs> in some parts of them. Okay, no. So then there's the peacocks, some lamps, some fun little lamps. We like little lamps. Some circus things. These are fun. They are toast holders. So Lester Ware, 1930s era. So fun. And then we have some marigold carnival glass and there's a wall climbing cat, some little houses. I have some of my tens in here and I have tens kind of all over the place because I have a problem. And when I see them, I just am like, whoa, I gotta buy them. So, I mean, here they are, here's some of them. Bird tens, some Holland tens, just overall nice looking tens. This one, tropical, I love it because there's palm trees and stuff on it. It's a good size one too, good graphics all around. And then we have some other interesting ones up there, a little turtle bank. Some things don't make sense. Some things are just where they are and I don't know why they're there, but you just have to, I say, concede and just do it. Uh, Peggy Ann, she's up there living her best life at $8. And then we have this nice deco. I think that's like an army frame. It has an eagle on top of it. I really should print off like a picture of some guy and stick it in there, but well, if I have a little extra time, I will do that. And then look at these Cracker Jack biscuit tins. Now these are awesome. And it'll be sad to see them go, but it's okay. So this better one I put 60 on because the graphics are so much cleaner. And the other one is 50, but they're very comparable. They're just really cool. I like those. So that is this shelf over here. I'm gonna hang this little mappy doodle guy right here and then people can stick it with pins on wherever they're from. It's gonna go about there. Here's the checkout register. So we will accept PayPal, Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, all that. Um, so that's good and cash, no checks. And this is the checkout counter. This counter actually came with the place and whenever I bought it, and if you wanna see what this place looked like, I would highly suggest the video that I did on it uh, right when I bought it actually. This was covered in some tacky looking checkerboard racing black and white tile thing and this is now what it looked like originally whenever this was a grocery store back in the 60s so i like that countertop a lot it has the cracked ice formica on it as well so over here we have the jewelry department <laughs> the jewelry department i have lots of brooches and I have all of those kind of in this case right here. I bought this case on Amazon thinking that it was gonna be a lot larger for the price that it was. And well, here it is and it's all right. I have some black amethyst depression glass holding my other things. I think they work out well for jewelry holders. This is a really pretty jewelry box. I like it because it's purple lined. It has that nice, look at the top of that too. Mm -hmm. So I have my jewelries in there, some of it, and then some necklaces and things like that. I do have some purses on the wall, an Enid, an Enid Collins purse, some grass natural purses, and this one right here with cherries all over it. That is not a real coach bag, by the way. I have that on the tag, but it's imitation. Vera Bradley, things like that. Some more brooches over here. And then some, now we're getting into the 50s kitchen over here. So. I have this fun thing. I forgot that I had this cabinet. It was in the basement at the house and it was in the old Etsy room back whenever I sold on Etsy and I did it out of my basement. Yeah, remember that? Well, I had that down there and I was like, wait a minute, I'm being a silly goose and I brought it here. So it's magnetic, it's, ma <laughs> it's magnetic, it's magnet, it's metal. So it holds magnets. So I have, notepads on it. Those are my uh, notepads that I've designed and sell. So they're going to be available here for, for sale at a discounted price uh, because we're not shipping them. So that's great. And then we've got some glasses and some Tupperware. 
I just picked up these owl glasses the other day, actually, and they never, they never were on a video, but they are so cool. They're like, like they're textured and there's eight of them, it's like a whole set. Some Tupperware, some like little towels and things, some other things in there. Okay, so let's go around over here to the 50s kitchen. Now this 50s kitchen brings me back to whenever I had an antique booth and at a, at a local mall and I had this display in there pretty much as it is now. And I had great fun with that. But when I bought this building, luckily I had the foresight whenever I closed down the booth to take all this stuff with me. In any event, I'm glad that I did because I put a lot of work into cleaning up that counter piece back there. I'll show you in just a minute, but let's start over here. So I have this nice barrister bookcase. It's painted yellow. I did not paint it yellow. I'm a little annoyed that it's painted, but it's done and it's over with. So there it is. I have another barrister in the other room that's not painted, by the way. Now, some of you might say, oh, it's fine. It looks beautiful. It, it do, it really do. But I like the original color of wood when it's appropriate. So on top here, I have some various things here, mostly kitschy items, fun little things. And then up top here, I have aprons, lots of fun, colorful aprons. But I do have tablecloths on the top row and then some dishware. And oh, I might put that dishware out because it's a pretty plate set. That is Franciscan, by the way. Really pretty Franciscan. I don't know the name of it though. Offhand, oh, it's called Maytime. We like a good Maytime. And there is a snack serving set, milk glass, and I think a dogwood, uh, dogwood flower. So over here we have more things. I bought that shelf at a yard sale ways back and I put this fun ribbon on the, on the edges of it and I think it really makes a whole difference to it. So that's a great one. There's lots of things on there. We have some Franciscan ivy. You know I love my Franciscan ivy. So if you're looking for some of it, I have some random pieces. Those are just saucers. So maybe you could do something fun with them. But Franciscan Ivy, it was, it was used on I Love Lucy. So, and you know how much I love I Love Lucy. So over here on the wall, I have this really cool cabinet piece. I like this a lot because it has the transferred on flower, the decal, and then I have lots of advertisement pieces in it. Some hostess tins, carnival, things like that. Sifter, little tea towel hanging from it. More aprons hanging from that. And then we have more stuff over there. Now, this corner display has a ton of glasses on it. I like patterned glasses. I like the screen printed glasses. So as much as I try not to buy them, I inevitably end up with them. So here we have some glasses. So up on the top row, we've got some fun orange diamonds. We have a lot of wheat for that 70s moment. And then we have some diamonds in the red, the white, and the yellow. These are fun textured glasses. I really like these, see that? They just have a really nice geometric flair to them. So I've got six of, or eight of those. How many of these do I have? Oh, I think seven. So you get one extra to break it. And then we've got the strawberry mugs, the stoneware. Those are always fun, strawberries and cream. Uh, glasses, lots of glasses. We have lots of glasses, canisters. Those things, these things. I'm not gonna explain everything. We're just gonna pan around because there's still half a building to look at and we are 11 minutes in, oh my. And then we have all of these things here. These are Pyrex. So I will try to be not so talky and we're just gonna pan a little bit quicker. You can take a look there. This one over here, it's another standalone piece. This came with a building. I'm so happy that it did back when it was a grocery store. So I am not extremely happy with the way this looks. It's kind of thrown together, but I will maybe work on it a little bit. Over here, I have a ton of salt and pepper shakers, and this is not all of the ones that I have. I have more. So I have all of these salt and peppers, and I love a good salt and pepper because two things. One, they're like a figurine, and two, they're actually useful. So I like whenever things can do things. We like when things can do things. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pan over here to this wall and we have a Hoosier cabinet. So there is a Hoosier cabinet that was actually a family item that I was, that I was able to get. And so it is now here, nice display piece. 
And I have some fun things on it. Some more tins are actually in here. So just when you thought we were done with them. And then we have Whitman's. I love that uh, Art Nouveau type tin. And then this Cloisonne style box. That's pretty as well. Nice canister set, a wonderful beehive cookie jar. And then down here, I do have some dolls. I don't go out of my way to buy a lot of dolls, but I ended up with all of these. So here they are. We've got a topsy-turvy doll. We have some other interesting ones. And there they are all in their bed. Lots of chalkware. I love kitschy chalkware, lots of birds and fruits. And so that is all on that wall. Up top, we do have another lithograph. Really pretty scene with a great frame. More silhouette convex pictures. And I do have, look at that, a flamingo mirror. So that is here, a flamingo mirror. And I have a flamingo mirror at the house already. So it's okay if I sell it. I have this tiger picture. I think it's a lithograph actually. And it's uh, it's dated or it's uh, number 46 out of 200. They call it tiger and bamboo. This is a beautiful lithograph that I recently picked up and I couldn't, this one right here, and I could not find it anywhere online. So yes, there it is. Then we have a latch hook horse. Over here we have some moon and star, some more pictures behind the moon and star. This is where I have all of my pictures or uh, uh, ephemera all in this shelf right here. Down here, a few more lithographs, some uh, enamel plates and things, rotary phones, have to have it like superhero style and have like a red one. Uh, those are actually harder to find colors, the red and that blue. Um, in fact, most other colors besides black are harder to find. And so that's what's going on in this room. Oh, here's the table that I mentioned at the start of it. I have some Corel in the butterfly gold pattern on here. It's just done up like a 1970s paradise, I think. So you can kind of go back in time and have fun with that one. Poodle tray, TV tray, and then a poodle can. These are carnival canes, by the way, like carnival sticks. They have this marble on them. They're so cool. And um, they're, whenever you go to the carnival, I guess that the man would have, the man, the, the carnival hand or whatever would, would have that. So I have those. I picked those up a few years ago at an auction and I'm just now ready to part with them. So I have $18 a piece on them. So we'll see about that. Okay. Oh, I didn't mention any of my, see, I'm all, we've got some glass there. I don't know if I even mentioned it. Lots of uh, swung vases and things like that. Some lucite grapes, all of that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go into this next room over here. So this is where I have a lot of stuff, as you can see. And because of <laughs> your probably your eyeballs are like, ah, no, I know there's a lot, but we'll try to get through it quickly. So over here, I have some really nice plates. Now these are Homer Laughlin in the Cavalier pattern, a relatively harder pattern to find, and especially in this colorway with the pink edge. And then more of these colored vessels, some blown pieces, some pressed pieces, some little figurines. Over here, I have more lithographs on the wall and some cross stitch pieces and some home co butterflies and lots of fun little things. Nice lithographs, interesting sceneries. Interesting sceneries, we love that. Uh, there's the Pink Panther and the popcorn, melted plastic popcorn. So that's, that's what's going on right there. And then over here, I do have some seasonal items. So we have uh, all of the seasons I have over here. So that's where they are. Ornaments, they're gonna be like $2 a piece, some different things like that. My toy department is overflowing. And I didn't realize I bought so many toy things, but there they are. We've got some nice litho noisemakers and some beanie babies and I don't know what else, all sorts of different things right there. And then just above it, in extreme contrast, we have some art glass. <laughs> so we have some, uh, some of it Murano, some of it just straight up art glass, but I have lots of that there. And then we have some nice teacups and things, milk glass uranium glass right here we have more this this is sort of a hodgepodge area most everything else is organized but it's that's a little bit of a hodgepodge i do have some more pictures up top there 
so that's fun. And then over here we have more art glass pieces, some birds, some shoes, some figural paperweights, more right there, some powder dishes. Here's some more art glass. We have lots of different bowls, and then we have more down here, lots more different bowls. We have some plates, those are fun for hanging on the wall. There, some of them painted, like those are painted with like ships and things on them. There's a stuffed bear. I don't know why he's down there, but <laughs> he's there. I have more tins right here. I think this is the, the rest of my tins. So that is all of them. So there's more tins there. And then we have some more glass there, some more glass here, some random things here, some oh. random things here, dish, it's serving pieces, things like that. Some more things like that. And then down here, we have a lot of restaurant wear down here. So divided plates, things like that, and some black amethyst sherbet cups. There's another Corel set right there in that corner. Mm -hmm. And then a little toaster. That toaster should really be in the 50s kitchen. I think I'll move it after the video. And then we have some wood items. I, th I like to group my wood things together. In fact, I like to group most things together if I can, so I can find it whenever I'm pulling for a live sale or I'm selling it. Because, you know, the, the, the real reason of this place originally was to warehouse all of my stuff, and that is the main focus, but we are opening it up for sort of an open house pop-up event. So lots of fun art glass here, and then down here, this is sort of a mess. We have some Fiesta Ware Riviera down there. More things there. There's a little bit of fine tuning left to do. I will admit that. There's things are a little busy in some places and a little sparse in others, and we'll try to fix that as we go. Like right here is a complete mess. And then things up there. I do have more pictures up there. Um, paint by numbers, really, mostly. The figurines. I have a ton of them, and here they are. So. I will actually not describe them. I'm just gonna do a slow pan and you can kind of see if you wanna pause the video, you can, but there's there's a lot going on. Bookends are on that third, uh, the fourth shelf right there. And then some brass items down below, right down there. Over here, I have a ton of mugs, lots of mugs. I've been buying mugs and then I end up never remembering to sell them. So here they are, lots of mugs and then ashtrays, a ton of ashtrays. Here's some more figurines. We thought, you thought we were done with those, but we're not, they're right here, there's more of them. So I have some, some really nice ones, some pixies, some all kinds of animals. And then here are some more figurines. Some of these are Occupy Japan. And then over here I have more figurines. Up here I have more figurines too. Some birds, some koalas, some poodles some bulldogs, some cats, some all kinds of things, Hawaiian type. Okay, and then over here, we have planters. So my planter department is also extended. So over here we have all of those planters and I'm just gonna do a slow pan and then you can kind of see all the planters that I have. Down here we've got more. These are like some taller ones and, and things like that. And then down here, that's an awesome Black Panther one. Okay, and then over here, I have some more on this bottom shelf. And then up here, I have some more. Oh, well, let me just do all the planters first. Okay, and then over here, we have some more. A couple vases are mixed in. And then down here, some more. And then the last bit of planters are actually up here in this right here. Those are some more planters. And while we're at it, we have more pictures up top, mostly paint by numbers. Okay, so right here, I have salt and peppers. This is the rest of my salt and peppers over in this area. So I have all of these fun salt and peppers right in there, over here, all of these salt and peppers. And then directly below that, I have lots of creamers and sugars and serving pieces like that, things that go with salt and pepper. So that's there. 
And then right here I have a whole bunch of salt sellers, a whole basket of clear ones, some really awesome painted Nippon ones. Um, and then these are actually more salt and peppers, but they are individual ones. So I'm going to have a price for those individually. And you can kind of have fun with them and do different things, but they're all just singles. They don't have their mates. And then over here, we have more things like that. Sugars, creamers, dishes, syrups. And then on this shelf right here, I have teacups, mostly teacups. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pan right over here. I'll shut this door so we can see. Okay, so right over here I have more figurines. Just briefly, I have some on the wall right there. And then all throughout there, down the shelf. Clowns, a whole shelf of clowns. So that's those. And then right over here I have mm, all of my pillowcases. So pillowcases and things that go on beds and dresser scarves. So that's all there. Up top I have a couple more lithographs and crewels and a painting, an oil painting, and a really awesome silhouette mirror piece. And then I have my afghans and blankets here. I will say though, that afghan is sold. I just forgot to pull it. I sold it the other day. So the rest of them are here though. So that top one is gone. Um, and then here's the barrister bookcase that I mentioned previously that I had in the other room. So this is a very, I love this one and I did not pay very much for it. Uh, I bought it at an auction. I was really happy to get it. And then I have some really nice art glass up top here. Some harder to find pieces. Very awesome Polish type. And then in here I do have another set of, well, I have a set of tea, tea, tea set. <laughs> Some really nice Weller and just overall interesting pieces. And I do have more to bring from the house, so I'll put more at the bottom. Now, well, we're just about done. And this this corner over here is actually Barb's corner, uh, Winking Owl Antiques. So she's gonna have her little area right over here. And so that'll be, that'll be hers. So she's not really done with it yet. But just over here, I also have some more art glass. So there's some bigger art glass pieces, some more fabric things. And then, oh, um, just a little tea set put out there, just some interesting pieces. And then the last thing I think will wrap up this video is right over here. We have some more art glass on the table. Well, thanks for sticking it around to the end, and I hope to see you at the pop-up sale. And if you cannot make it, I might have another one in the fall. It's really, I'm just not sure. I'll find out, and we'll see how this one goes. But thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.